Hello, it is Thursday, March 4th, 2010, and this is your Daily Dose of Reptile News. Is it with people getting bitten by deadly snakes? Holy cow! A tourist was walking across the road just before 1 p.m. when a car ran over the snake. The snake then bit the tourist twice in the leg. The snake was a green mamba. The tourist is now in critical condition in a hospital. A 21 year old man was bitten by an unknown snake at about 2 30 p.m. in the Elfin Forest. The snake species was unknown and as of Late yesterday, there was not an update on his condition. He was taken to the hospital, though. And then all the way on the other side of the world, out of Sydney, a two-year-old toddler was bitten by a red-bellied black snake. She was airlifted to the hospital. No definite word on her condition other than that they say the red-bellied black snake is sometimes fatal. Next, here's one that jumps out at me. A man was, uh, I believe this was out of the UK. Um, I don't know. Anyway. A man was dipping his feet into the water when a crocodile grabbed him and attempted to pull him in and make him lunch. The man, using his free foot, beat the crocodile while holding on to rocks when the man's pregnant wife came up and wrapped an arm around his neck and under his arm and pulled and pulled and pulled and eventually the crocodile gave up. So, yeah, that's pretty good, pretty brave of her, I guess. Um, I, you know, I thought about this, and, and I, it hits so close to home, really. I mean, I, I, if given the chance, if we had crocodiles around here, I mean, I'd go swimming with the things. I, I, I love those things. Um, and I do have a pregnant wife, so, but I'm pretty sure she'd probably step on my hands and give me to the crocodile. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay. Anyway, out of Virginia, where authorities executing a search warrant for narcotics um, found a snarling three-foot alligator. They called animal control to have the animal removed, and the person was charged with keeping an exotic animal and animal cruelty when they found a bulldog in the backyard with no food or water. Anyway. That's all the news for today. That there was another one I accidentally deleted. I really wanted to tell you guys about it, but um, the reptile channel is teaming up with I don't remember who. I don't remember who. I'm gonna try to find it and I'll post it in the links. But teaming up with some um, products manufacturer and they're gonna have like a like a virtual reptile show for everybody which um, sounded kind of cool. I, um, I love going to the reptile shows here locally, so I'm sure a virtual one would be kind of neat. So I'll try to find that and put it in the sidebar. But um, anyway, that's all the news for today. A little bit shorter video, probably a, a sigh of relief for a lot of people as because yesterday was just ridiculous. That was a long one. Um, anyway, if you want to read more about any of these videos, the links are in the sidebar. Don't forget to click on those. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, send a video response, all that good, good stuff. And, um, oh, before I forget, your question for Thursday, March 4th, 2010 is, have you ever been bitten by a deadly snake? I can't believe how many people did in the last 24 hours. It's, it's, I've seen one every now and then, but to have three of them like that, and, um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I hope they're all okay. I hope they... You know, I, I mean, it doesn't appear, it, these appear to all just be people out and about, and, you know, it's an unfortunate circumstances. I don't think, according to news reports, it doesn't appear that any of them used any sort of bad judgment or neglect or irresponsibility. It's just one of those things where, you know, we've all seen it. We've all, most of us that, that go out looking for trouble, I guess you could say, have been in a situation where we're walking and darn near come close to stepping on a, a rattlesnake or, or whatever it may be and 
you know, it's just one of those unfortunate things. It's, uh, I guess it's just a part of life if, if you live in an area where those occur. But um, anyway, that's your question. How many of you have been bitten by a deadly snake? And uh, if so, tell us your story in a video response or a text comment. What happened? How'd you make out? Did you lose a finger, lose a hand? Um, no worse for wear? Anyway. Um, a quick note at the end, I posted a video blog try, trying to find out what everybody wants. Um, go check that out. The vlog link is second to last in the sidebar over there. And one last note I'd like to mention. I had noticed that there was a lot of people starting the registration process for the Foothill Herps Forum, but never completing it. They, they would register, but the, act, it, the accounts would never be activated. I couldn't figure this out. I used a test account, registered for one myself, and I never received the activation email. I had no idea this was going on. Nobody got a hold of me and, and, and let me know or anything. So now it's open activation. It's uh, it, the way it used to be. You register for an account, you get an email, you click a link, it's activated. It's a, a spam protection measure. So that happens no more. Now you register. As soon as you register, your account is immediately activated and I'll just have to uh, use more due diligence in, in deleting the spam accounts instead of trying to prevent them altogether until I can get this problem fixed at least. So anyway, I apologize if that happened to you. The problem's fixed. I took all those accounts that were unactivated. There were 17 pages of them, deleted all of them. So if you, you can go back now, if you wanna register, do it, it'll work fine. And if you have any problems, because this appears to have been an ongoing problem for some time, if you do have any problems, it's jasonw at volcano.net. Send an email to that address. Let me know your, your login ID and um, the email that you used, and I'll take care of it immediately. Anyway, hope to see you tomorrow. Um, supposed to be a beautiful day today. There's a little bit of a blue sky peeking out out there so I'm hoping to go get a third day of filming done for the project and man we're almost halfway through if I can get that done today we're almost halfway through exciting real exciting anyway be good to each other go hug an iguana